Um, well, Kyle, up to a career high of 22 in the World Grand Slam semi-final, now a third round in the Masters 1000 event for the, for the first time. What have you and the team focused on uh, before this season to, to produce this incredible upturn in results this year? There's a number of things, really, just looking at my game uh, on and off the court, you know, just trying to improve all areas. But it's always a working progress. Uh, I had a good off-season that um, showed with my Australian Open run. Um, in, uh, improve my game. It was good to see that and good to get evidence that my game was going the right direction with results um, on the big stage. So yeah, it's it's that constant working on my game. Um, yeah, this is probably, I had a good run in Marrakesh when my first final, this is now probably my best result since the Australian Open, which is nice to beat a player like Novak, big name, done so much in the game. Um, so it's good for belief and confidence and you know, showing that you're constantly improving. It's not, you don't want to have results and then stand still for a while. It's nice to keep the ball rolling. So it obviously gives you, um, I guess, a good feeling that what you are doing is working. Um, you know, it looks so calm as well out there, other than Novak, because obviously there's wins against uh, Dimitrov and Anderson out there in Melbourne. I mean, yeah. I mean, does that just come from more experience in the talks? You do look so relaxed out there against some of these big guys. Yeah, experience definitely helps. Uh, just spending time in that environment, uh, how you react in it and stuff, it, it, you learn constantly. So I think that's helped me a lot, especially in Australia, as playing on Rod Laver and even Hisense and coming through matches with that, like uh, Kevin, like you said. So it's each time you step on court, you learn more about yourself, you learn more about the situations. And I've been on big stands before, like with Novak, uh, Arthur Ashe in Miami and Indian Wells, and uh, like I played Andy, uh, Queens and stuff. So I've been on big stages, and I've, I guess I've built up a bit of experience now and realised how to, you know, control your emotions, how to manage your game on those on those stages and situations. And it's good now that some results are coming from it. Yeah, talk us through that. That's a result there against Novak in a bit more detail today, because again, it was the mental toughness, I guess, that had to be prevalent after you know a guy like that coming back to to claim the second set. You, you mm. had to then come back and do it all over again, didn't you? Yeah, he. You always expect a like a comeback from a player like like that after taking the first set. You always know there's going to be always going to be resistance. So uh, he, you know, he ran away the second set a bit, d double breaking and then serving it out. So I knew at that that first game of the third set, it's going to be important to hold, uh, especially down that end where most of the breaks were coming from, and. Uh, so first, it's always good to, to keep that, that mini lead and make him serve to, to, eat, to level up in the set. And uh, Love 40 holding was, was obviously big to keep that pressure on. Um, and then, yeah, 4-3, four, four, I forced myself to go for it a bit more. And, uh, you know, it paid off. And, uh, I, you know, couldn't have played a better game at 5-3 personally. Well, a lot of people might not realise Clay's actually your favourite service, which isn't necessarily what you'd expect from a British player. Why is yeah. that? I don't know. I just really like playing on it. It suits my game uh, ever since I played on it. It was actually the first time in Ghoul, funnily enough, in, in Yorkshire. Um, and I just like the way it played. It's obviously a lot slower bounce here. The spin really takes well on the clay, so my shots kick up. And, yeah, just over time, I've, I've enjoyed it. It's, uh, I enjoy playing on hard, obviously, as well. We play on it the most out of the tour, but it's just nice to... I, I always enjoy coming on the clay. I, when I step on it, I adjust quite quickly. So, yeah, it's good to get some results. Um, David Goffin then awaits in, in that next match, and I think you've played once before in the Davis Cup, which was mm. a bit of an epic that you lost. But a few years ago now, what can we expect from, from that match? Yeah, it's, it's tough to sort of look back on it because it seems quite a while ago. And like you said, I've probably, you know, I built up more experience now, played a lot more pressure matches. That was a big pressure match, the first, uh, I guess, rubber in, in the final, my um, debut. So, yeah, lot, lots to learn from that. And learning from that is what got me some big wins. Um, so, yeah, it's, he's a good player. He's a very consistent player, good, good professional, always makes good runs in tournaments. Um, so, yeah, you know what you're going to get with him, and it's a good level. So taking uh, confidence from this match, you know, you want to look forward to that and hopefully similar today, get myself in the match and give yourself a chance of winning.